Hello all, welcome back to the UTV Shikshana program. Uh, so we're in the last part of, uh, and also last session in the module four of digital system design. So we'll take up uh, two example here, okay. Uh, the very first example is construct the state diagram for mod eight up counter. Okay, so this is a simple uh, mod eight up counter, but you have to uh, construct the state diagram. This is one of the uh, example that we have, okay. Here there are uh, total, uh, eight states when i say mod eight okay so the mod eight uh, typically uh, zero one two three four five six seven and then back to zero okay so the moment it encounters zero to seven okay this is what one up counting is all about. Okay? This is what I mean by the moderate up counter. As I said, there are eight states from S0 to S7 assigned to 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0 is S0 and 1, 1 is S7. In the similar fashion, for from 0, 0, 1 to 1, 1, 0, we'll assign from S1 to S6, respectively. And we define one may variable x is an additional control signal which is responsible for transition between the states saying that if x is one it enables the up counting once it completes the eight states transitions the output goes to high that's the meaning okay okay so this is what really happens now hope you are getting what exactly we mean by yes so what it says X is an additional control signal, which is responsible for transition between the states saying that if X is equal to one, it enables the up counting. Once it completes the eight transition, the output goes to high. Okay, so uh, that's the thing that we have this particular variable X, okay. So we know that eight states are there, S naught, yes, this is what I mean by states. S naught means zero, 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 and this is, for S7, we are giving the variable name as something like S7. Okay. Next state. Okay. When X is equal to 0, present state 0, 0, 0 means it will be 0. If X is equal to 1, it is incrementing. Okay. Only when X is equal to 1, it has to increment. If not, it should, if X is equal to 0, it should remain in the same state. Okay. So this is what. If present state is 0, next state also will be 0 if X is 0. If X is 1, next state will be 1. Meaning, X, if X is equal to one, then only uh, the count should be incremented or up counting should happen. The moment X is zero, it should just be there. Okay, this is what we mean by, okay. And output Z, okay. So until unless the final seven is there, my output Z is doesn't become one, okay. Output, so output here, I call it as something like Z here. Okay, this is important. So this is output, which is nothing but what? Z form. When X is zero, it will be in the, the counter will be in the same state. The moment X is equal to one, then only it will go for up counting. And once the eight count is done, my output Z becomes one. That is what I mean by here. This is what, okay. So the same uh, uh, table is given here. If I am in present state zero, 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 the next state will be the same. It will be the, written in the same state. That is no up counting if X is zero. If X is equal to one, it will be incremented by one. If the present state is one, and if X is zero, it doesn't count. If X is equal to one, then only it will go for counting with the next one. Okay. So it the same thing goes on. And you can see the output. When X is zero, anyhow, it is not doing anything. So output remains zero. And until, and since the state is still zero, 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 my X is doesn't becoming one. When X becomes one, only when, when, when actually exactly my Z becomes one is once the all eight count is done. This is what, okay? So this is all out about the construct the uh, state diagram for mod eight up counter. And we have defined the problem statement here. And uh, we'll go to the state diagram now. As I said, there are total eight states, S naught to S seven. 
S naught is the state representing the zero zero zero. S seven is the state representing one one one. Okay, this is what. So I have uh, S naught, S one, variable name S two, S three, S four, S naught. Uh, representing the zero 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 for S naught, zero zero one for S one. Similarly, S six is for the bit pattern one one zero. This is for one one one. This is for one zero one. This is for one zero zero. That is four. This is zero one one, and this is zero one zero. Okay, that's it. Yes. Now two things are there. One is so this is my x value the numerator in this is x value and the denominator is y value uh, sorry this is my z value okay z is the output whereas x is the input yes and this is my present state present state and the input what kind of uh, state machine or the state diagram we are writing this is an example of a mealy state machine state machine okay this is a state diagram okay state diagram or state machine or state diagram why because output z depends not only on the present state but also on the present input okay that's it so the numerator part indicates x and the denominator is zero and again if i want to go back and see okay here present state 0 0 if input x is zero i will remain in the same if not if x is equal to 1 i go to the next state one okay when x is equal to zero output never become zero but here output is still zero because it has never encountered the final eight bits okay so that's what so now this is what i am in state 0 0 that is s not my input is zero that is x is zero means no change i remain in the same state what should be my output still zero in all the states the moment x is equal to zero i will be in the same state in if i am in s1 that is 0 0 1 state if x is zero i remain in the same state with output maintaining zero same case also could be with s2 if x is zero i remain in the same state no change in the output that is it is remaining zero same case with s3 s4 s5 and s6 now if i am in s not instead of x zero if i get one and i am sure that if x is equal to one i should increment or up counting if i am if the present state is s not means the next state has to be yes one so move from s not to yes one the moment x is equal to 1 but have we completed the eight count from 0 to 7 no that's why my z still remains 0 i have a transition but output is not at changed okay same in s1 if x is 0 be in the same state with output 0 if x is equal to 1 i should go and increment to the next that is s2 still i have not completed the count from 0 to 7 that's why output is zero here okay next if i am in s2 x is zero remain in the same out maintaining output zero if it is one go to next state why z is still zero output because i have not completed the eight count yet 0 to 7 that's why okay next if i am in s3 same case if it is zero return in the same if it is one go to the next state with output still zero if i am in s4 If x is zero, stay in the same state. If x is equal to one, go to the next state. Again, I have not yet completed the complete uh, eight sequence. That's why output is still zero. If I am in S five, if x is equal to one, go to the next state. If not, return in the same state with output zero. If one, go to the next state with output still zero, because I have counted from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven is not yet counted. If s is six. And if I'm in state S six, and if X is zero, I'll be in the same state with output still zero. The moment I get the X is equal to one, if I'm in state six, I'll move to state seven, and my output is still zero because last state I should. Okay, after reaching the last state, only then I should 
said that z is equal to one. That means output of this uh, sequential network should be one, saying that one counting has been done from zero to seven. If I am in seven, if I get x is equal to zero, then I will re remain in the same. If not, if I get one, I'll go to the initial state and that initial state, I call it as zero, zero, zero by letting z is equal to one. You can see that, okay. You can see here only when I have a transition from S7 to S0, I made Z to be one. Okay, this is what the definition says. Yes. What definition says? Whenever X is equal to one, increment from zero to seven. Yes. When X is zero, be in the same state with output zero. The moment the one count from zero to seven is over. When that will be over? After seven, the next will go with the zero. Only at that moment, I make Z is equal to one. Okay. So this is the only change that I find in this. So this is the state diagram. This is an example of a Mealy state machine. Okay. For the mod eight synchronous up counter. Yes. This is one of the example that we have. Yes. So just to... Uh, Summarize, this was the statement, construct the state diagram. We have eight states, zero to one, uh, S0 to S7, assigned to zero, zero, zero to one, one, one respectively. X is an additional control signal, which is an input for us, and is uh, responsible for transition between the states. Saying that, if X is one, it enables the up counting. That means from one state to, I'll move to the other state in terms of increasing order. And once the eight state transition is complete, eight states I'm saying, the output goes to high and output variable we have taken is Z. So I have present state and the next state with the inputs X. So X forms input, present state, okay? Based on these two, my output changes and that's why it has to be a mealy sequential as we saw it. Okay, this is one. And the second example here is, construct the state diagram for the sequential circuit given below, follow the standards, okay? So this is very, um, important now. For a given problem, we can get the state table from the state table, we can obtain the expression and then we can construct the circuit or a design. But now they have given the circuit itself. From the circuit, we have to obtain the state diagram. See, it is a reverse engineering kind of thing, right? So now we'll try to see. Okay. Here they have used two flip flops. Each uh, flip flop is a D flip flop. Yeah. This I call it as something like D1 and this I call it as something like D2. Okay. And what is exactly applied to D1? Output of AND gate. What is AND gate is getting? Uh, it is getting F1. Okay. This is what? This is very important now. It is getting F1. And what is this? F2 bar. Okay. F1 is the output, oh, 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 sorry, uh, this is, okay, I think I call it as, this as D1. Okay, sorry, this is my D1. I call this as D1. The only reason now I am changing uh, D1 and D2 is because of F1, F2, okay. This I call it as D2. D2 is getting F2 bar F1 and X. X, F2 bar F1 is my D2 and what is D1? It is X bar odd with F2 bar F1. That's it. Okay. D1 is getting the R operation of X bar F2 bar F1. D2 is getting the AND operation of X F2 bar F1. Okay. This is what. F2 is the output of the second flip flop and uh, F1 is the output of the first flip flop. And output Z is defined. What is output Z? Z is the AND operation of F2 and X. Z is basically X into F0. Okay, this is what. So it's a synchronous common clock is given. Okay. So before we go ahead in uh, getting the state diagram, okay, uh, we have to now follow some standard step to design this. Okay. Because this is not a straight uh, forward. It has the reverse engineering that we have to do. Okay. So what is the general principle of analysis? Any sequential circuit is determine the system variables, which is the input, output, and input 
i think the present state and the output okay determine the flip flop type and find out its characteristic equation okay what type of flip flop they have used in this case it's an d flip flop obtain the excitation equations by inspecting the diagram given okay so once we have the flip flop type and its characteristic equation we have to obtain the excitation equations by inspecting the diagram given write a, write the next state equation of each state variables this is the fourth step that we have to follow in analyzing formulate the excitation table transition table which includes all the possible states and the sixth uh, principle is write state diagram for the obtained table in the above point okay so this is what we will anyhow these are the principle that we have to follow but here we'll try to identify the input output and the state variables okay the very first thing is what determine the system variables input output and state variables and you can see that i have one input x i have one output y yes or no and i have state variables f2 and f1 since i have two flip flop that two of d one flip flop output is f2 and another flip flop output is f1 so i have two states variables f2 and f1 one input x and one input z so the first thing we have done with now yes determine the system variables input output and the state variables just i have changed there so i have in, determined the input the output and the state variables in this example sir f and f1 okay for determine the flip flop type and its characteristic equation okay what is the flip flop type is d flip flop and we know the characteristic equation of uh d flip flop what is the characteristic equation of d flip flop yeah so characteristic equation or the next state equation of d flip flop that is q plus equals simply d that's it this is the characteristic equation of d flip flop right and that's what we have written d flip flop is used so the characteristic equation becomes q plus is equal to d okay obtain the excitation equation by inspecting the diagram that means i have to find out what is my excitation equation that is the next state okay f2 plus and f1 plus and that's what we we'll try to do now okay so from figure we know that d2 is f2 bar f1x okay and this is what i mean by d2 this is d2 this is and operation of i have told f2 bar f1x and that is what is there Okay, f two bar f one x is my d two, and what is my d one? It is x bar plus f two bar f one, and we have already seen that, right? From figure, we are ensuring what is the inputs given for these flip flop, and once we know the exact equation by inspecting the diagram, write the next state equation for each state variable. Okay, so one for f two and one for f one, and we know that. Next state equation of d flip flop is it will, it will simply follow the d right. F two plus is nothing but what d two and that's why we have written f two bar f one x. F one plus is the next state equation for d one, and it is nothing but what follows the this. Okay, so what I mean by here is so we mean by is okay. D two is this, D one is this. F two plus that is the next equity equation of second flip flop is D two. Okay, and the next state for the D one is this one only. The characteristic equation, yes. Next state equation we know, and the next state equation for uh, F two is F two plus. It is nothing but what D two, and for F one plus is equal to X one X bar plus F two bar F one. This is, what. and after obtaining the equation, okay. and what is the next thing that we have to do according to the steps write the next state equation of each that is done formulate excitation table transition table which includes all the possible states okay what i mean by all possible states my state variables that is f1 f2 along with the inputs okay what is the next state and when my output should be one that is what i mean by the all excitation table the transition tables based on that okay so here since we have two flip flops with two state variables f2 and f1 i can have four different states state a state b state c and state d is that clear if i have one flip flop two states if i have two flip flop four states because i have four combination 
and here state variables are f1 and f2 this is the state variable for flip flop 1 that is d flip flop 1 and this is the state variable for d flip flop 2 and these are the state variables uh, four different states a b and c d and then if f1 and f2 forms the present state and the next state will be f2 plus f1 plus when input x is 0 and when input x is equal to 1 okay and when my output z becomes 1 that is determined by which particular expression that is z is equal to f2x whenever f2 is 1 as well as x is equal to 1 then only my z becomes 1 and that is what we have determined okay so how to fill this four different states i am having 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 four combination okay depending upon f2 f1 value and x value i just substitute the values over here i'll take one example here okay for the first row okay i will just take the one example with respect to my first row okay what first row says f2 is 0 f1 is 0 x is is also 0 in this kind this is the one that i am de de determining all three okay what is f2 bar it is f2 bar f1 x x is 0 f1 is 0 totally my f2 bar plus will be 0 the next state of f2 becomes 0 next state of f1 f1 is 0 that's why this is simply 0 sorry f1 is 0 okay this is this term becomes 0 whereas x is 0 x bar becomes 1 that's why the next state of f1 is 1 here what is that f2 into x the moment x is 0 this so in the whenever x is 0 you can see that z columns will be all 0 because z is directly functional of x in the okay this is all over so depending upon f1 f2 x value I'm, I'll be finding out F2 plus F1 plus based on these two expressions. Yes. And I will find out again the output Z again depending upon F2, F1 value along with the X is equal to 0. Yes. For four different combination of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, I'll find out F2 plus F1 plus Z for input 0. And I find out F2 plus F1 plus Z for the input this is what upon solving using k map technique and the final output expression from the figure okay i can now get the expression for f2 plus i can get the expression for f1 plus when x is equal to 0 and when x is equal to 1 okay and i can construct the diagram and now after this we'll go and see this is what i can get the expression with respect to what f2 f1 and z for f1 f2 it will be simply x f2 bar f1 yes again see from this we could get the same thing yes we know that next state of uh, f2 is the same thing which is nothing but what d2 that's what we are solving here also yes and this is what we have this four and we have this one what is this column this is x bar plus what is this x sorry this is simply f2 bar f1 just for our understanding okay what is it it is this so what exactly this means it is x into uh, z is x into f2 okay this is what okay. see we had to, to given the table and i'm just proving that the next state is again the same finally what is, is important for us i have to come up with the state diagram how many states i have a this indicates as something like zero zero this indicates something like 0, 1. This is 1, 0. And this is 1, 1. What I mean by x, if there is x means it is 1. If it is x bar means it is 0. Z means it is 1. Z bar means it is 0. Okay. So now, 
You can see here. Okay. <clears throat> so okay, I can okay now I'll just change x is equal to zero. I think uh, we can do the other way also. Okay, we can uh, just try here. Okay, what we are saying is now depending upon the x value, it will be changing. If here x is equal to zero, okay, I remain in the same state. So just a minute, we'll try here. Uh, we'll just try to draw here. So now here, x is equal to zero. If I'm in state zero, zero, the next state has to be zero, one, and z is equal to zero, okay? So yeah, we are there now, okay? Same thing, I just uh, use the same uh, notations here, okay? What is that notation? x means it is one, x bar means it is zero, z means it is one, z bar means it is zero. Okay, so this is what it is. What is x bar means? If x is zero, if I am in, if I am in state A, if I am in state A, if x is equal to zero, move to state B that is zero one, my output z remaining zero one. Okay. And that is what we will see this year. Okay, if I am in state A, which is zero zero, x is zero. What is my next state? Zero one. What is the output? Zero, and that's what we have just seen here. There, right? If I am in state A, which is zero zero, and if I get x is equal to one, okay, what really happens? If I am in state A, which is zero zero, if I get x is equal to one. What is the next state? It is the same state that is zero, zero only with output zero and that is what we have here, see? If x is equal to one, remain in the same state zero, zero with output still zero, yes? So we are getting this state diagram from this transition table. This is very important for us. Is it clear? So next, if I'm in state B, two values of x, x zero, I remain in the same. If x is equal to one, I move to the which state? Three, three state three. In both the case, in first case, in both the cases, z is zero. So if I'm in state B, if x is equal to zero, I remain in the same. If x is equal to one, I go to three state. We'll see. If I'm in B, if x is equal to zero, I remain in the same state. Okay. If the moment x is equal to one means I go to the State one one. In both the cases, we can see output is zero. That is, z bar means it is zero. Okay. Next, coming to the C. C is what one zero state. If x is equal to zero, I'll go to state B. That is one zero one. If x is equal to one, I go to state A. That is zero zero. In both the cases, my out in one case output is zero, and in one case output is one, and that's what we'll see now. If in zero, if I'm in state C, that is one zero. If X is equal to one, I go to A with output one. If X is equal to zero, I go to B with output zero. Okay, the final thing is the D. That is if I'm in state one one, if X is equal to zero, I go to state B, which is zero one. If not, I go to state A, which is zero zero in both the cases. Okay, in one case, my output is zero. In one case, my output is one. And that's what we'll do. If I'm in state D, if it is X is zero, I go to B that is zero one with output zero. The moment X is equal to one, I go to state A, which is zero zero with the output. Okay. This is what the state diagram that we constructed, that we constructed, that we constructed. For this particular state diagram, sorry, for this particular transition table, okay, which includes all the possible combinations of present state, next state with the actual inputs, with the next state equation from the figure, what is the inputs and identifying the characteristic table and the input for what problem? This particular circuit. See, 
given the circuit we can get the state diagram or we are if we have a diagram i can go for constructing the text box okay so this is how exactly we move ahead okay so this concludes the module 4 okay so module 4 typically had the sequential net uh, circuits first and then the sequential networks in the sequential circuit we continued the counter design with respect to the synchronous counter okay we saw the arbitrary counter the up counting and all and then uh, we went on with the using different flip flops and then uh, the second part of this we started with the sequential networks uh, with mure and mile and we could see the difference between the mile and mure and how exactly a mile and mure state machines looks like we had taken two example one with jk flip flop and another with sr flip flop in designing the state machine and then we could solve two problems okay how to get the state diagram okay how to get the state diagram in terms of Uh, the problem definition okay in the example one uh, the problem de definition was construct the state diagram for the given mod 8 up counter so we could find out the state uh, table and everything second example for the given circuit to obtain the state diagram and finally we could say that example one uh, led to mealy sequential network example two also is nothing but an example of a mealy sequential network in which the output depends upon the present input as well as on the present state okay so with this we uh, complete uh, uh, the module 4 with the final uh, slide the difference between the mealy and mure machines okay so mealy machine output depends both upon the present state and the present input or in the mure output depends only upon the present state generally it has fewer states than mure okay this is the other observation you have to find mure has very few are states mure it has more states than mealy machine okay in mealy the value of the output function is a function of the transition and the changes when the input logic on the present state is done in the mure the value of the output function is a function of the current state it is synchronous with the current state and the changes at the clock edges whenever the state changes occurs mealy machine react faster to inputs they generally react in the same clock pulse in more machines more logic is required to decode the outputs resulting in more circuit delays they generally react one clock cycle later so you can see if you want a faster you go to a mealy okay and if you have uh, if you want to go for a lesser state go to the more so you can see the trade off between the mealy and the more but both defines the same thing the easiest way even though there are more number of states i think it's a mealy that is very comfortable okay so with this i thank and uh, uh, end this uh, module 4 thank you